Towards the end of her presentation, Amber Heard's lawyer Elaine Bredehoff told the jury that Johnny Depp sued for $50 million, so they had to double that. Listen to this. And I know you've been listening to everybody for a long time here, and I echo Ben's uh, very, uh, very uh, strong thank you to all of you for this extreme service and extraordinary service. We really appreciate it. That is what we call malicious prosecution, and it's considered a crime in a civil case. Are they now out to make a living from Depp after wrecking his career? Well, you can have your guess. If she was bold enough to admit it to the judges, then they must have discussed it in-house. In fact, according to Bretta Hoft, Amber had paid her legal team upwards of $6 million in fees following her divorce from Depp. The lawyer also claimed that the Aquaman actress could not make the full $7 million donation she had pledged to the ACLU and a children's hospital following the divorce settlement because of the hefty legal fees. According to Elaine, Amber had paid extraordinarily high legal fees after Depp sued her and started a smear campaign against her. In Virginia law, malice in any control motive for insinuating the criminal proceedings in anything other than a genuine desire to see justice done, to enforce the law, or to punish the guilty. A jury may infer malice from probable cause. And that's a very, very important thing here. He told his story. He had his opportunities. He had his full opportunities to do all of that. And he came in here and lied to you and said he's here to get his reputation back. Here Elaine is telling the jury to make Johnny Depp compensate her client for the damages brought to her. This is probably one of the biggest mistakes she made while delivering her closing argument. Her arguments only prove one thing, their $100 million countersuing of Depp is malicious. She even goes ahead to admit that they don't want anything apart from winning the case and collecting the check. Listen to her again. And he came in here and lied to you and said he's here to get his reputation back. It's just one of many lies in this case, but it's a really big one because here we are. What action do you think the jury will take after Elaine admits to malicious prosecution? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.